how to add and display a counter on your website using Page Visits Counter Lite. First, you should install the plugin as described in the previous video tutorial. After that, you should see the hidden counter in the browser DevTools. You can use Google Chrome or Mozilla Firefox. I will open DevTools by pressing the F12 keyboard button and select the console tab. We can see that PHP and JavaScript statuses are OK. That means the plugin is working properly. The cache memory is flushed and minified JavaScript and CSS files are deleted and recreated. Both hidden counters are here. If you wish to display one of both counters on your website frontend so everyone can see it, follow the steps. Navigate to the plugin settings page. And select the counter tab. Uh, display counter on the website. So it says, if you wish to display a page visits counter on your website, copy the counter code and paste it into HTML widget or page custom HTML block. Note, not code block. Uh, okay, what this first sentence uh, is describing is that uh, you can select uh, either page visits counter to uh, place on your uh, front end page or website visits counter or you can place it both. So uh, to place it you can uh, decide uh, which counter uh, you would like uh, to place on your front end page. So we have a uh, base counter, uh, base and position counter, light counter, you see how it look li looks like, then a uh, dark counter. Uh, here you can change its position to center or to right. The first one is always to the left, as it says here. This is uh, the very basic. As you can see, it is only a uh, one row HTML div element with ID of the uh, page visits counter. Uh, so you can add your own uh, CSS styling. Uh, this one here is same as this one, but it has a uh, position integrated. As you, can see, as you can see here, style is added. And uh, those two have a uh, little bit more styling, so we have light and the dark. Uh, same goes for the uh, website visits counter. You have uh, center, right, styling is the same and you can uh, just copy the code. Let's use, for example, this one. I will put it to the center, copy the code, copy, and uh, let's check our uh, home page frontend. So this is our home page frontend. And I will add a counter here at the bottom, in the footer. So to do that, I need to uh, go to uh, Appearance, uh, Widgets. I will open it in tab. And here we have a footer 1 place and footer 2 place. This is uh, like this in a team that I am using. Uh, in your case it depends on your team that you are using. So to add uh, HTML code here you should uh, select custom HTML from here, drag and drop it inside. You can add a title if you wish, uh, for example page and paste the code in it. Let me see page counter, ok, save, and after saved let's check the frontend of our page, so this is the frontend, I'm going to refresh, and now we have a counter here, and I'm going to inspect quickly, for you to see, so if uh, this is, this div here is a uh, 
transparent uh, element, HTML element, and the counter box width is 100%. So you can see that counter is uh, centered in that parent element. If I uh, selected right, it would be uh, aligned to the right, or if I uh, selected left, it would be aligned to the left. Uh, you can add only one page uh, counter on the page. If you place it, if you place two counters, only the first one is going to work because we are using uh, ID here, as you can see, ID, not class. And this is because uh, I wanted to make a website uh, run as fast as possible. So ID is going to be. Uh, found uh, much faster than a class in JavaScript. Okay, let's add another one. Uh, let's add uh, in footer bar, footer 2. <laughs> let's add in footer 2 another custom HTML element. We are going to call this one website or anything you like. You don't have to write anything if you don't want. So we are going to add a dark counter. Let's change position to the right. Copy the code. Go to the widget. Paste the code. No error. That's great. Save. Visit the front end. Refresh. And we can see a website counter on aligned to the right as we decided here to the right I am going to inspect just quickly and we can see that parent element uh, looks like this and our counter is aligned to the right in the parent element so if you wish to add a uh, I'm going to remove both from here. So uh, delete, delete. And now we are going to uh, add a counter to the page. So I'm going to select pages, uh, sample page. This is a demo website. Okay, this is our sample page. And now uh, to add uh, the code, uh, I need to add, uh, this is a Gutenberg editor, and to add the code, I need to use an HTML block, not code block, but HTML, custom HTML. So I will select it, paste uh, the last code that we used for a website counter, and update. And now we are going to see the front end of that page. Here it is. And you can see the counter below. It is the same uh, with Elementor or any other uh, page builder that you are using. You only have to use a custom HTML block like I used uh, with Gutenberg. Uh, let's try one more thing to see how it's not working. If I add another block, custom HTML, and add the same counter as this one uh, above, and I update, and then if we check this site, you will see that only first uh, counter is working because uh, both counters are website counters. And the only first one can work because both are using ID HTML attribute and uh, you cannot use two of them uh, on the same page. For example, if you are using it in uh, the footer, then you cannot use it in the footer and on the page. You should decide either use it on the page or in the footer. But instead of a uh, website, we can Instead of a website counter, we can use a page counter. So we can have both. Let me select a page counter here. 
I'm going to use the light one and we are going to add it as the second one here update okay let's check and here it is I've changed the position to the center so we know that this one is the page counter and this one is the uh, website counter you can use your own HTML uh, to add uh, any text uh, above or aside uh, but for that you need to know a little bit of HTML and probably CSS to customize it the way you like it thank you for watching